functional analysis is the study of different energy levels. Hmm, I think this is the perfect for this is very perfect for my next organic chemistry video. But where is Oh assalamu alaikum everyone didn't see you there again I don't know what's going on right now <laughs> again so I've been a little curious about organic chemistry this thing about organic chemistry that is conformational analysis I did my research and if you are as curious as I am about organic chemistry then you're in the right place because not only am I going to discuss about organic chemistry but I'm going to explain what Newman projections are and at the end of this video I'm going to explain how to draw a Newman projection with a literal example so with all that let's start this video so let's take a very so let's take a look at a very simple molecule, a molecule of ethane, ethane C2H6. <coughs> ethane is compi comprised of single covalent bonds or sigma bonds. If we recall from my previous videos, I have it here. Sigma bonds are overlapping molecular orbitals that lets the molecule to rotate freely so each of these bonds are constantly rotating now if we rotate this carbon hydrogen bond nothing is really happening here but if we rotate a uh, carbon the carbon carbon bond <coughs> we really do change the shape here now this is how it looks now sorry if my drawing is nearly not as good as this one but <coughs> when we change and rotate this we get different conformations so like this bond might get closer here and we can't see the back carbon according to our perspective now to explain all that we need to take something better than line notation to analyze conformations and we're gonna be want to be able to draw them in a specific way because line notation is very hard to work with really if you're taking account the the complexity of the perspectives and stuff so this is the line notation for ethane we can see the the dash bond and the wedge all here now we're going to have to change our perspective suppose this is our eye and we're seeing it through this perspective then this is going to be the front carbon that's this huge circle now the back carbon cannot be seen but the sixth group projecting from the carbons can be seen so these bonds can also be visible to us according to this perspective so let's say this is our molecule and me I am looking from here now molecules are 3d so I'll be able to see the front carbon but it will block the vision of my vision of the back carbon but I can still see the hydrogen bonds a little bit over here now th there are different conformations and this is an eclipsed conformation now this is a 60 degree dihedral angle now if we rotate it that way then we're going to get a staggered conformation that's where these bonds are the closest to each other and the eclipsed 
is where the bonds are farthest to each other. Now these conformations will change the molecular energy of it. So let's say we have an eclipsed molecule. Now it rotates to a staggered form that's on the top and then it rotates back to its initial eclipsed form. Now there will be a, an increase and decrease of the, the energies and we can actually calculate this energies that is if we have one mole of ethane then there will be 12 kilojoules of difference for each energy so it will be normal like this then it's going to increase by 12 kilojoules per mole because all the bonds are sort of march more closer and and will get more energy and it's going to rotate back to its original initial eclipse form now don't think that original means this is the main one though uh, that's not exactly how it works but that's how you draw a newman projection for ethane now let's take a more complicated molecule, a molecule of butane. Now this is our perspective. Now this is our front carbon, so this is the back carbon. So we can't see this carbon. Now on the top we have another carbon molecule with three hydrogen bonds. So that means that we're going to give a line here and give CH3. Now on the bottom here we also have a CH3 molecule and at the middle we have hydrogen bonds coming from here and hydrogen bonds coming from the back carbon projecting which we can see. So this is basically the perspective. Like we're seeing through this carbon, this carbon and this carbon are visible but the back carbon is not. But we can still see the bonds and we can see these hydrogen bonds and this hydrogen bond. So we can say these are anti to each other for a special case. And also when it rotates, it gives a sort of like this, where the CH3 molecules are closer to each other and we say these are gauche to one another. Now I'm sure in your tests or your worksheet, you will be given a work on how to draw the Newman projections. Now, if you are not in a class or anything and just learning this again or learning this before it's in school, um, this is not really, this part is not really important, but if you want, you can still watch it. But this is more about the class stuff and other things. This is just a little help. Now we know that this is our perspective. So what we have to note is the front carbon and the back carbon. Now if this is the front carbon, then this part will be the back carbon. Because according to my perspective, I can't see that carbon. Now at the bottom, there is going to be a floral bond because this fluorine molecule, fluorine atom is coming from the downer part and on the up part, we have the hydroxyl and the hydrogen. Remember this this is the dash bond of the hydrogen and the hydrogens are of course implied. Now since this is the back carbon we can't see it. But what we do know it's in the below and these are going to go like this because this part I can see better than that part because if we go back to the perspective 
And if you know what a wedge bond is, like I said in my first organic chemistry video, it's coming towards you, outside of the plane of the board, in front of it. And the dash bond is at the back of the board. So I can see this one in my left hand side and I can see the bromine in my right hand side. So this chlorine I'll, I'll write in the left hand side and this one I'll write in the right hand side. Now we can't really see that much of the bond so we can basically write C2, CH2, CH3. And so this is a basic way of how to draw a Newman projection. Whew. So that was the end of the video. Now, if you want more organic chemistry videos, make sure to like this video and share this video to other friends you have that are confused on this similar subject and if you have any feedback or anything that you're confused with or if there's any problems make sure to comment down below i would really appreciate it and would also want to improve my work and make sure to subscribe and leave a like and also ring the notification bell that is important if you want to get notified whenever I make a video and thank you for watching and I will see you next time bye